So you may remember this little guy we first introduced you to uh, who needed a prosthetic hand, but he thought the usual ones were just too boring. So there is a group out there that made sure he got the coolest new hand and arm out there made specifically for him with a 3D printer of all things. That is Liam, and he joins us now this morning along with John Peterson, who made the hand for him through his company e Nable and mom Ryan, who's here as well, <laughs> talk a little bit about what this new arm has meant to Liam. And Liam, just first and foremost, you've been showing us the new tricks and some of the things that you've been learning to do with your arm. What's sort of the biggest thing that you say now? Oh, you're pointing to this. So something like this. You're sort of learning something is, yeah. <laughs> but, but show me how this works. <laughs> the most, like a superhero. Basically, just. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 I'm getting used to using this arm. How awesome is that? It's pretty exciting when you have a little, you know, for mom, for you. Um, it's not you know, coming out. You were telling out. me about, for the first time, he yeah. was able to ride his scooter. Mm -hmm. Something as small as that, what's it like for you to see him? It's just nice. It's, it's amazing, really. Just the little things. Um, the smile on his face when he picked up the cup. He opened our cabinet and mm -hmm. grabbed cups out and has been putting forks in mm -hmm. and cutting up his own breakfast. So... It's really nice just to see him happy doing the little things. And John, for you, who designed this, uh, to be able to give that joy to mm -hmm. families has to be incredible. Let's talk a little bit about this company, the mission of Enable. Well, e Enable is a group of thousands of people. Right now, I think we're up to 3,000 and 400, something like that, all over the world who to do this. We make different ideas for printing items and uh, uh, make it available for everybody to do and so like if i make a device that does xyz it's out there on the internet then somebody on the other side of the world could use it right so and it's it, it, there are very select few people how did you get connected with liam to build this arm for him well, we're, we're both in augusta and the way it works is somebody who requests a hand or an arm goes to enablingthefuture.org they sign up to get a hand or an arm or to receive help, and then they will pair up a builder or a maker, somebody has a 3D printer, with somebody locally. Well, and you may not think it's that strong because it's a 3D printer, how strong can it be? But you handed me a small piece mm -hmm. of this plat, and it is, it, it's very, I mean, it's really more sturdy than I could have imagined. For you, you're just sort of learning how to use it now, but what do your friends at school say? What do they think about your new arm? I thought it was awesome. <laughs> they were a lot of them wanted to see it for real. Didn't they want to see it up close and all the things it can do? But John went above and beyond with this arm. Mm -hmm. um, we turn. were expecting something very simple, like the initial prosthetic that he showed us. Mm -hmm. And he really went above and beyond to tailor it to Liam's interests. And then he just kept thinking of other things. Anyway, so we want to be able to give people more information. So there is a link to enable on our show page, that's hln.com slash Weekend Express, so people can learn more, and especially if they're in need of an arm as well, like Liam, who definitely is giving his ringing endorsement for us, having a lot of fun <laughs> with it, and we are too. So thanks for joining us, Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it.